Justin is with us in Florida. Hi, Justin. How are you? I'm doing well, Dave. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? So uh, I had a question for you. I just recently graduated from residency uh, to become an orthodontist. And I have student loans that total uh, just over $1 million. You're kidding me. And no, sir. Um, what were you thinking? And, well, I wasn't thinking clearly. Um, so uh, I've sat down and calculated my interest rates, and uh, my interest uh, is about $5,800 a month. Um, so my fiance and I are, we're trying to decide, uh, what's the best way to try to attack this. If we were, uh, this first year able to pay $10,000 a month, um, uh, I guess there's basically two ways that we thought of it. I can do income based and my, um, Required payment will be about three thousand dollars, and then we can take the remaining seven thousand and pay it directly at individual loans. Or should we cover the interest and then pay additional monies towards uh, other loans? Um. So, what is your income going? To, when are you getting married? Uh, April. Okay. And what will you be making as an orthodontist? Uh, about two fifty. Okay. And what will she? What does she do? And what will she be making? Uh, we actually just opened up an office, and she works in the office, so she's uh, not taking any income out of the office. Okay. Um. So, if you make two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year, why are you only putting one hundred and twenty thousand on your debt? Uh, well, I mean, the 250 I calculated pre-tax I know. and, you know, everything I know. else. I mean, we're going to put as, as much as we, you know, possibly can, yeah. um, on the debt. Yes, sir. I mean, and in the years to come as the, uh, you know, income goes up, we're hoping to be able to make payments of 20 or 30 or 40,000 a month. I mean, that's what we're, yeah. what we're, <laughs> what we're praying for. Otherwise I'm just, uh, up a creek without a paddle. Yeah. Um, okay. I, I think the thing you have to, yeah, yes, I, I would, it, the income based option does not do away with interest. And so interest is going to be right. accruing greater than you're putting in. Okay. Mm, so you don't, right. you're not making any mathematical progress by doing the the three and seven idea, but you will make emotional progress because you'll be able to knock off some of the smaller ones. Right, right. And God knows you're going to need some emotional progress <laughs> in this process. Yeah. So, um, yeah. and then the the only other commentary I would just add is that um, this is such an extreme situation. Uh, your income is extreme and your debt is extreme, that you have to be very, very careful to um, just act like you're a broke college student because you are a broke mm -hmm. orthodontist. Right. And so that means you guys aren't going on vacations. Right. You're not buying a house. You're not leasing a new right. BMW. You're, you're not uh, going to a restaurant. You, are, you mm -hmm. have a million I can't even say it out loud. I can't breathe. A million dollars in student loan debt. It. <laughs> it gives me an anxiety attack, and it's not even my debt. Um, but the, the the horrible news is that ridiculous figure. The wonderful news is you have great income potential and a great income right now. Mm -hmm. So you cannot relax. Right, right. So You have the, to cut the, the, as deeply as mm -hmm. you can cut. Right. And so be dialing your taxes in. I don't want you to get behind on taxes. But other right. than taxes and food and water and electricity, mm -hmm. I really want everything else just going on student loan debt. Mm -hmm. Is the 250 gross sales in your new office? Um, so, uh, you know, like I said, I just graduated uh, this year. So I work 
part time uh, for another orthodontist to have a steady income. And the office that uh, my fiance and I work in, we just opened two months ago. Um, so, the, you know, the income is just steadily increasing on that. Right. But I'm, I, I guess I'm asking the, the 250000 how much of that's from the new office and how much is from the, old, the, the orthodontist gig? Uh, about 200 of that is from me working at another orthodontist where oh. I still work three days a week and then I work at my office three days a week. So I work six days a gotcha. week right now. Okay, that's good. That's good. So we ought to be able to turn that 50 into 250. Uh, oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, over time as you build your clientele mm-hmm. and so forth. Okay. And um, mathematically, is there any benefit though to me? No. Like I was mentioning before, no. doing. Okay. No, because okay. you have a set interest rate and a set amount of principal. You have to pay both. Right. You have to pay right. both. And right. so not paying one and paying more on the other is just hiding the P under a different shell. <laughs> right. Okay. The you only know, be- the only benefit of doing the income based is because your interest is probably close to 5000 a month. No, uh, 5800 Oh, it is. the That's the actual interest rate. Okay. And so I'll calculate it. Yeah. yeah. And so let's pretend that you paid the income based at three thousand. So somewhere another uh two thousand eight hundred is landing on the books as increased balance. Right, right. Principal, okay. Yeah. And then you're reducing other balances by seven. Mm-hmm. Principal and interest on the smaller ones. And so right. Like I say, we're just moving the P around under a different shell, but it will give you the benefit of getting to check off some of these smaller ones. What is your smallest one? Uh, well, I mean, I have a consolidation that's like 800, but most of the small, I have maybe half a dozen small ones that are 4,500 or less. Yeah, and so you're going to knock those out like one a month, two a month, that right. kind of thing, right. and for the first little while, and you know, then we're going to get down to the big, the big mama jama, the 800. Mm-hmm. And then it's going to slow way down in terms of the emotional benefit. And it'll be very simple to do the calculation. But you're going to right. accrue $5,800 worth of interest somewhere, and right. you are going to reduce principal by 4200 somewhere. Somewhere. In right. total by using $10,000. So it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. The only benefit is just to be able to check those little I like just like like I like cleaning up the little ones getting the dust out of the corner, getting rid of the mosquitoes, and then we'll get down to the bear hunt because you go from mosquitoes to bears pretty quick here. And so um, that's whoa, overwhelming. Uh, but you, you, the good news is you've got a great shovel and you have a great bright future with your income potential, and, um, you know, that gets you out of this. It's not a reason to get into it, but it does get you out of it. It gives you hope for your future. Thank you for the call. Open phones at 888-825-5225. So if you were worried about your $12,000 in student loan debt, that guy was for you today. A million dollars in student loan debt. Insured by you and I. We're the taxpayers. We insured that loan. Against default. I think he's going to make it. I hope he makes it. I want him to win. But on a cultural level, on a policy level, the fact that we have a system in place that would even allow that to occur, that Congress has put in place a system that allows that to occur, for you and I to guarantee his student loans is about as asinine as anything I've ever heard. <laughs> 